Parabola. 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 For some reason, I really want to graph a parabola right now. You see that? Perfect. Alright, the coordinate plane is done. Now all we need is an equation. Let's graph y equals x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now all of these quadratic equations should be in standard form. That is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where the x's are x's, and the a, b, and c are real numbers. First step, find A, B, and C. Okay, so from looking at our equation, we can see the coefficient of the x squared is one. It's not written, but we know we have one x squared. So A is one. B is the coefficient of x, which is two in this case. And C is the constant, the number by itself, at the end. In this case, C is 1. First step, done. Next, we need to find the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is the invisible line that separates two identical or symmetrical sides. The formula to find the axis of symmetry is x equals negative b over 2a. Alright, so for step two, I'm going to write it again. x equals negative b over 2a. Alright, this is our axis of symmetry. Don't forget it. Think of the axis of symmetry as a mirror projecting the same image on the other side. Alright, so negative. Now b is 2, so we're going to write negative 2 divided by 2, that 2, times a, which is 1. Alright, perfect. Now, we're going to simplify this. Negative 2 divided by 2 times 1 equals 2. And this is going to equal negative 1. So our axis of symmetry is at negative 1 on the x axis. Step 3, we're going to make a table and find our vertex, our starting point. So here we go. Here's our table x in one column, y in the other column. So our first x that we're going to plug in is our axis of symmetry, which is negative 1. And we're going to plug that back into the original equation. So wherever we see x, we're going to write negative 1. So negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1. All right, now negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 minus 2 plus 1 which is 0 yeah that's our vertex so now we're gonna plot that point negative 1 0 right there Done. now we're gonna pick two more points these need to be to one side of this X so 0 that's an easy point so we're gonna go back to our equation y equals 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 1. What does that equal? 0 plus 0 plus 1. So that's another point on our graph. 0 comma 1. So we're just going to go 0 on the x-axis, 1 on the y-axis. And the next point we pick should be 1. We're making it easy on ourselves. Back to the original equation. 1 squared plus 2 times 1 plus 1. 
Now that's going to equal 1 plus 2 plus 1, which is 4. Excellent. You knew that, didn't you, boy? All right, so we're going to go right one up four, make our mark there. And now the last step is that we're going to use the axis of symmetry to finish our parabola. All right, so here's our axis of symmetry, and we're going to make everything on the left the same as what's on the right. Just like this leaf, oh, that has an axis of symmetry. Our graph has an axis of symmetry. One of our points is to the right one, up one from our vertex. So we're going to go to the left one from our vertex, up one. And we're going to make a mark. So it's the same exact move, except for instead of right here, right two, up four, we're going to go left two, up four. From our vertex, don't forget that. You're going from the vertex now, not from the origin of the graph. So we're going to make our mark right there. And now we're just going to connect all of our dots together to give us our parabola. Done. Yes. A perfect parabola. All right, y'all. Here's a recap of the steps you need to successfully solve a quadratic equation by graphing. Make sure you've written them down so that you can dominate any tests, crush any quizzes, and feel confident in conquering any homework that might come your way. Or that will come your way, rather. For me, it's time for another nap. But for you, it's time to practice. Practice?